This is Phil, coming to you from Steamboat Willie's Boathouse, which is really just a place in my mind. But today we're going to talk about a project that I had worked on over last summer, and that was taking my 22-foot Sharpie sailboat, uh, wooden home belt, and putting in um, a Lyman drive shaft and propeller. Uh, but it was pretty cool, and um, I'm going to share some of the the quick videos I got with it uh, for you. Um, okay, thanks and enjoy. Very inexpensive setup to start of the chain, sprocket, the mounting collar for the shaft, some bearings, the 1800 kilowatt motor, some clamps for the shaft, and the controller and the speed uh, and the throttle uh, acceleration control. It's going to be it's going to go on a piece of three eighths aluminum. I got from McMaster Car. Uh, drilled the bearing holes already, so they're going to go like that and fit around the shaft, and then the motor will go. Like this on the opposite side though so it's underneath and then the drive gear will be attached in order for the drive gear to be attached I have to match this circle with this so I'm going to be setting this up uh, with my boring attachment on my mill to bring this hole out a little bit and what I did to facilitate that was I made a uh, piece that will go in here and align the tool so that I can then uh, get the proper alignment for the circle. So here you can see the setup and how the motor is mounted to the shaft and the propeller. It's a simple chain drive direct drive, no clutch. Goes reverse. And forward. System runs pretty good in forward, but in reverse it's awful. I believe that's mostly from a prop drive. Okay, works great going forward, not so great going back. First thing I would probably change is to create switches that would allow me to reverse the polarity in the hull sensor and the motor power to get 100% power in reverse. Second, I would definitely use a zinc collars in place of the steel on the shaft to protect the shaft. Third is I would try to put the prop a little bit deeper in the water if I could. It's hard on a flat bottom boat. The fourth is I'm using the uh, throttle from the kit, but I would probably want to go with a lever throttle uh, instead for the boat. And then the fourth is I'd really like to switch it to a belt drive because that chain does make a lot of noise on the boat. And it's nice to have a sailboat that doesn't make much noise when the wind is shorter. Now please, uh, send me any comments or um, help. I don't profess to be an expert in this, but it was a fun project and I wanted to share it. Uh, here's the parts list, uh, the original part list I used, uh, with the links to the different companies. Um, and please consider subscribing to my channel. All right, thank you very much, and I'd love to hear from you with feedback or uh, comments or helpful um helpful suggestions. All right. Thanks. And 
Have a great day.